Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I sure appreciate y'all hitting that old subscribe and that bell, but look at here. Today I'm going to show y'all how I rig my slip bobber, slip cork, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you start to finish of how I rig mine up and exactly what I use, everything I use, and uh, maybe it'll help a few of y'all or show you if you ain't ever done that, it'll give you, give you a starting point anyway. Um, I do this a lot of time when you get them finicky fish that just don't want to bite a plastic. You got to put you some live bait a manner. Sometimes I even put a jig on this, but most of the time this is live bait situation when it's hard to get a bite. This is what I use, a slip bobber, slip cork. It's hard to beat the most silver sides on. They don't get fat by eating plastic. They like that live bait when times is tough, but let's get away from that. And I'm going to get on with the show. Here's what I use. Now I do from time to time use the little silicone uh, rubber bobber stops, you know. I use them sometimes. And then I also use the little line that you tie to your other line, the little string. I use that every once in a while, but not very often. Here's what I use the majority of the time. It's just a little red. I don't know if y'all can see it really, really good. I'll try and hold my thumb over it. It's a little red one. And you run your line through them. There's little holes in this little plastic bobber stop. You weave your line back and forth on there. And that son of a gun, it'll slide, but it ain't, it ain't as easy as that little, the line that you tie on to this one. I know you got to keep tightening it. If not, it'll slide up and down. This one right here, it'll stay put majority of the time. When you catch a fish, you might have to readjust. But I like this because it's low profile, smaller profile. It'll go through your, your rod guides a lot easier, and it'll lay on your spool a lot better. It'll spin up and lay on your spool, and it won't get hung up as often. It will get hung up every now and then if you have to get it up on the spool. I try not to ever have to reel your bobber stop up on the spool but now dale holla we was fishing really deep with uh with uh slip bobbers and i did have to get it up on the spool but nine times out of ten it'll come right off this little red bobber stop right here i can't remember what the name of them are called uh, it's just a line through bobber stop is all it is you just weave the line through it all right from there you got your bobber stop and then you want to come up here with a bead you want your bead that way you're cork or bobber whatever you want to call it it ain't bouncing up against your bobber stop it's got something to hit instead of just pounding on that bobber stop and moving it so you put your bead after the bobber stop then this is probably one of the most important parts it's the most in, well one of the top you've got to have quality bobbers this right here is i think this is a, a bets makes it for mr crappie i believe i do have another type that I've got on the way that I think might be a little bit better than these, but I like these versus just your regular old cheap styrofoam bobbers that don't have an insert. The reason I like these is because they got that little plastic end right there that goes up against your bobber stop bead. But the main reason I like these is they have that insert. You see that little black plastic in there? If that wasn't there and this was just solid styrofoam bobber, after time, this line, I don't care what kind of line, mono, fluoro, braid, whatever, super sniper, whatever, if you don't have these inserts in here, that'll cut into this styrofoam. And then when you cast and your weight and everything goes to fall, if it's cut into that styrofoam, it won't let all this fall down. It'll just hang there, and you won't ever get down to where the fish be at. So you want to insert to where it's all this line will slide through it a lot easier. So I'll go back. I've got the bobber stop right here. Then I've got a bead right there to bounce up against the bobber stop. You can see it. And then I've got my good bobber right there. You want a good quality bobber. All right. Now I've got another bead below the bobber. Here you go. There's another bead below the bobber. So you've got a bead on top and below the bobber. There's that. All right, next. And this is very important too. This is one of my favorite parts. I like to be able to adjust my hook leader, how long, you know, how much free line the minner or shiner or whatever you're using has to swim around. If I'm fishing heavy cover, I keep it short. If I'm fishing open water, I'll make it a little bit longer. It looks a little more natural to them. So here's how I do that. I use rubber bobber stops for that. Let's see if you can see that on my old chinny chin chin. You see that rubber bobber stop right there? I put one there, and then for this size bobber, I use an eighth of an ounce. I just got me, I think this is a tungsten slip. Just got the line passed through it. Got a tungsten weight there. I think that's eighth of an ounce. And then I've got a, another bobber stop right there. Let's see here. There we go. There's another bobber stop right there. So you got two bobber stops, one on each side of the weight. That way you can adjust 
the bob uh, the the weight you can adjust this to how long you want your your uh leader to be if you're fishing heavy cover you don't want that manner to swim around and wrap up and all the brush and get tangled up and everything so you want to keep this pretty short pretty close to you to your live bait if you're fishing open water you want it to look natural all you gotta do is just grab it slide it down the line you've got a longer leader so that's what's handy about using them two bobber stops to hold your weight in place instead of wrapping it around or pinching them old split shot. I know when you brim fish and you pinch them old split shot on the line, I don't like doing that. Do this right here. Put your bobber stop, a weight, and another bobber stop. The hook, this is very key. And I have used, you know, light wire, crappie hook, stuff like that. But my favorite hook is these little mosquito hooks. They're pretty much a drop shot hook for bass guys. That right there. I don't know if you can see it good. I'll try and get it up there to tell you where you can see it. It's just a mosquito hooks, what they called. I can't even, I'm, owner I think makes them is where I get them from. Owner, I believe, mosquito hooks. You can Google, Google mosquito hook and it'll pop up. I'm 95% sure owner makes them. I use a size four the biggest majority of the time. I use a size four hook in these mosquitoes. I have one up to a two and sometimes I go down to a six, but I like the four. That's pretty much middle of the road for me. I use a six quite often too, but I like these because they're really light. A small minner can swim around with them. They ain't holding them down. They ain't dragging them around. They ain't, you know, it's something that it looks a little more natural in the presentation. So that's why I use them little old lighter wire mosquito drop shot hooks for my live bait rig. So we'll go back over this. Here's how we got, and I'll shorten it up to where I can get it all in view. You've got your wrap through bobber stop right there, that red piece. Then you've got a bobber or a bead right below that. Then you've got you a good bobber, a cork. Get these from Betts, uh, Mr. Crappie, or whatever that's got the insert. Make sure you got an insert on your bobber. It'll save you some headache, I promise. All right, then you come with another bead. So there's what it looks like. There's your bobber stop, bead, bobber, another bead. That's that set up. Then you come on down, and you got your other bobber stop. This is for your weight. Bobber stop, weight, and then another bobber stop right there. Got it all compact. That way you can adjust your leader. Then you got your mosquito hook, and that's it. That's all she is. Everything, that's how you use it. There's other ways you can rig these things. I know everybody's got their preferences, but this is my preference, and I think it'll help a few people. Um, if, you, if you got any other ideas or tips or whatever or any questions, Holler at me down in the comments, man. I'll help you out. Y'all might show me something that I don't know. But other than that, man, I sure hope this helps y'all out. And uh, if, you, like I said, if you need anything, let me know. I would appreciate y'all hit that old subscribe and that little bell wherever it is around here. Hit that, and uh, that way you know whenever I pop one up. And I sure appreciate it if you've already done it. And, oh, by the way, y'all keep snatching on them.